guys, so today I am here with my mom who is new on this channel. I actually have never filmed a video with my mom before and I decided that since I am visiting my mom up in Virginia right now that we should film a Q&A because I don't know. I just think it'd be funny. So I asked on Instagram for some questions and we got a few good ones. Mom's already freaked out. So <laughs> Um, let's get started. The first question says, how did you react when you, when I first told you about my YouTube channel? I didn't really think you were serious about it. You didn't think I was serious? No, I didn't think you would stick with it or take it serious and do all that you do with it. Well, thanks, Mom. <laughs> you <laughs> proved me question. wrong. <laughs> it's a good question, good answer. Um, how do you deal with being away from me? Or how do I, yeah, I guess that's how I should put that. How do you deal with me being away from you? Far away. Far, far away. But you're not that far now, so it's better. No, it is better now. I was happy to hear you were moving back this way, so it's good now. But how did you deal when I was in California? I just went on. I don't know. <laughs> My mom went on without me. I had to. I was in your room a lot. You lived your life without me? I was in your room a lot. Oh, well, yeah, because you were packing it up. <laughs> For you. And stealing all of my stuff. Whatever. Um, I think I already asked this question, but I guess I can ask it again. How do you feel about me being on YouTube now? Because this isn't like the same as how do you feel when I first told you. How do you feel about it now? Um, I guess I'm proud now because you do it and you're faithful with it. It's like probably the, with the exception of Brian, the only thing you've stuck with for this amount of time. Well, thanks. <laughs> thanks. But you do good now with it. Thanks, so. Mom. Uh, what's your favorite thing about me? Mom hates me. <laughs> I don't hate you. <laughs> oh. I don't know. You don't have a favorite thing about me? I think your personality. Oh, thanks, Mom. Is it good or oh. bad, though? It's good. Oh, I you're saying I like... meant it good. Jeez. <laughs> okay. How do you feel about... How do you... Okay, this is like... A, they, like, worded it weird. It says, how do you feel about your daughter moving out at this age? Yeah, I guess that's how I could word that. Well, I couldn't say anything bad because I moved out at the same age. Yeah. So. Well, then you moved back. Hopefully I don't move back. I moved back with you. <laughs> Let's hope I don't move back. My situation was a little different. <laughs> so. But, yes, yeah, so you can't really say anything bad about no, it because I mean, you'd be a hypocrite. Right. Um, how did you feel when I decided to move to California with Brian? I was a little hurt. Oh, Mom. I was hurt because you were so close to graduating from here and I had plans for graduations. I know, so that was slightly like, hurt. I think that was the hardest for me because I knew you had already booked like a graduation party and I would like, that was like my deciding factor. I was like, do I make my mom mad and make her cancel this or do I stay here? So you chose to make me mad. Thank you. You told me it wouldn't be a big deal. <laughs> it was. I got, I got three fourths of the money back from everything. How much milk? I can give you four dollars. I have four dollars, mom. I'll give you four dollars. Yeah, it was a little more than that, but that's okay. Uh, so what, <laughs> what do you think of Brian? I think Brian needs to keep his hair cut. Yeah, Just I, say I, no, I agree. Brian, so, I keep agree your too. hair cut. <laughs> I think so too. That afro is getting a little, a little ridiculous. Yes, when it starts to poke out under the hat, keep it cut. Oh, I kind of like it when it's a little no. under the hat. No, keep it cut. <laughs> um, this question is kind of the same as the other one. It says, was it hard to deal with when Kirsten moved out? I'm moving out in a couple of months, and I just want to know what it's like from a mom's perspective or point of view. Moms will be sad. Moms are always sad. No matter how well you get along or don't get along, moms are sad. <laughs> you just have to go and live your life and do what you need to do. Good job, Mom. Um, has there ever been a time when you didn't like Brian? Yes, when he had my daughter move to California. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was mostly my decision. Thank you. I know. because he, he told me to come home. He texted me. We had a nice long text conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, this is what Mom hates. Your favorite childhood <laughs> memory of me. You know what? I, I was know. a great child. You was. I was. You were. Okay, you southern woman. <laughs> you was! <laughs> but I worked a lot when you were younger. When I lived, when we moved back in with my parents, I worked a lot. I went to school, so I really didn't see you as much as I should have. As much as I see the boys. I didn't spend yeah. as much time with you then. And look how they so turned you, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But now that you were, once you got older and I was spending more time with you, I would say, I liked going to all your softball games and stuff. That was fun. That was fun. We had like a ton of friends and stuff. And like yeah. the tournaments, remember, we would like go to like 10 different games and everyone would have food. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. I remember that. That was good Disney time. was fun. Our Disney was so fun. you by yourself. Mom and I went to Disney. Ride. Oh my God, my mom almost threw up on the plane. <laughs> yeah, that was the best. Fun. 
That was the best Disney trip ever because I oh, feel like we, we did just so us. much. We did a lot. I think it was the first time me and you ever traveled more than 30 miles. Yeah, down the road. Away. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> we, should, we should go to Disney just me and you. Don't tell the boys. Okay. Um, That'll work. I, this is kind of another question that's kind of the same. Uh, oh, I just messed it up. There we go. How do you deal with me being so far away? We just There's nothing I can do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the same thing. Uh, favorite memory of Kristen, we've already kind of talked about it. And then what is it like to be moving around a lot for you and your family? So I guess kind of the military thing. Because you are a military spouse. I'm just a child. I was that once too, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. It's not that bad, really. I mean, once you, you once get, you get the first it. move out of the way and you leave home away. And I've noticed that you've gotten good. really good at making friends now. Well, I'm not saying you're bad at making friends, but I'm saying that, like, since we started moving so often, it's just, like, it's, it's come easy. easier for you. Well, anytime that there's been a deployment, I didn't go home. I yeah, you would stay, stay. And I had to make friends and do things. Because I didn't have the luxury of going home. Because I always, couldn't. Well, I always had a kid in school. True. So I couldn't just leave. Pack up and go. Yeah. Right, so I had to stay and become very independent on my own. So it's not that bad. Yeah, and you, you were always, like, you always had, like, one or two kids at the time. Do you think yeah. you had two kids in the first deployment? I had, crazy. I had two until the third, de wait, the third deployment is when I was pregnant. And then the fourth you had Bryson and so I had three all of kids us. Then. So yeah. You you strong woman you. Um, what was your reaction when you saw me after me being away for so long? Mom didn't have a reaction. I thought it was more exciting to see the boys because and their reaction. They were Because they didn't know you were coming. They knew we had company coming, but they did not know who it was. I think Caden didn't even know it was me. He was like, Kirsten? <laughs> yeah. So what? I think that was the fun was just to see their face. The kids' reaction. Oh my god, they're hilarious. Um, are you into as are you as into makeup as Kirsten is? Obviously not, no. Yeah, my mom doesn't um, wear makeup. No. I don't think I've ever seen you wear makeup except for when you're going to the ball. So Yep, yeah, I think that was the last time. I think it's the only time. <laughs> and they messed it up. You should have let me do it. Not that time, the first time. Yeah, the first time was the first bad, time but was good. No. <laughs> um, how has Kirsten changed since you last saw her? How you changed? My bangs are growing out. No, you really haven't changed, though. No. I think, I think you're pretty much the same. I think so, too. Um, have you two gotten closer since you haven't seen each other after a year? No. We hate each other. We've done more this <laughs> week than we did the nine months that we lived in this house, I think. Yeah, this house is boring. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. We'll be close when we go sledding. No, I don't want to go sledding. Um... Ooh. How did you choose my name? A baby book. It was a baby name book, and I was trying to find a name that was not in the family on either side already. And something original. Something original, and I liked it. When I seen it, I instantly liked it. In the it. book, this is a different question. In the book, did they pronounce it as Kirsten? Or did they pronounce it the way we pronounce it? It had, like, I think three or four different ways to pronounce it. it oh, I'm so glad you chose Kirsten. There's just a bunch of different ways. And your middle name is my aunt Denise's middle name. But and it was the nurse's it was, name. It was my labor nurse's first name. Thanks, Mom. I will always be connected to that lady. But <laughs> secretly, it's, it's, it's Aunt Denise's middle name. <laughs> it uh, worked in my favor. <laughs> that is smart of you. Uh, were you surprised when I wanted to stay in California with Brian, or did you expect it? Secretly expected it. I didn't know that. And Dad even said the day that you had left that you weren't coming back. And I said, no, she'll be back. But I thought I was coming back. I didn't pack well enough. No, you did not. I really thought Packing I was Packing up back. your room. No, you did not pack well enough to I just, stay. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I guess that's kind of it. Nobody more, like, no more questions. No one wants to talk to me. That's It's been awesome. 20 minutes since we posted this picture. Guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A with my mom. I do hope to visit more often, so if you would like to see more Q&As with her, or maybe Caden and Bryson, that would be kind of fun. <laughs> if they have snow days, it might happen this week. It might happen this <laughs> week. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed seeing my mom. And yeah, bye guys. Bye.